I tested three popular chunky chenille yarns to see which one is best for crocheted amigurumi and plushy toys. Chunky chenille yarn is all the rage for crocheted toys. And look how cute these little guys are. Oh my goodness. They are so soft and cuddly, but there are some challenges when using chunky chenille yarns. And by the way, today's video is sponsored by Cricut. More on that later. And today I'm sharing the results of the test I did with three of the most popular chunky chenille yarns to tell you which one I think is best for crocheting toys. And there was a definite winner. If you have a favorite chunky chenille yarn, make sure to leave it in the comment section below. Hi, I'm Elise from EliseRoseCrochet.com, and when I decided that I wanted to test out different chunky chenille yarns, I went online and did a little investigating. I wanted to find a few different yarns that were going to work great for crocheted toys. There were so many to choose from that I had a hard time narrowing down my selections. I knew that I wanted to make one of the brand new toys from the designer Green frog crochet. She just came out with a couple of new pattern bundles for little toys that are crocheted with chunky chenille yarns. And I decided on the Happy Farm and I just cannot get over how cute these little toys are. There are eight different patterns to choose from in this bundle and I decided I had to make that little pig. Now I've designed a couple of pigs of my own. There's just something about them that I think is so cute and this one is going to be added to my little pig collection. What's great about this pattern is that she recommended the Himalaya Dolphin Baby yarn, but she has a link in the pattern to check out all of the other yarns that are exactly the same weight and yardage. They are perfect substitutes. And I found two additional yarns that I thought would be perfect to test against the Himalaya Dolphin Baby yarn, and that's the Premier Parfait Chunky and the Paintbox Yarns Chenille. All three of these yarns are very popular amongst amigurumi makers who love chenille yarns. And I knew this pattern was going to be extremely well written because I had made one of her other designs a year or so ago, and that's her Mia doll. I knew that this was going to be a great pattern to test these three different yarns because I knew it would be well written, but also that it was going to turn out adorable. One thing I wanted to mention about the pattern that I did change was that the original designer has a button for a nose, and I think that that looks so cute. And I tried using a button on this little guy, and with the felt eyes, it looked really busy. It looked really strange. So all I did was make six single crochet in a magic ring, and I just sewed it right on, and I think that it looked really cute. And then I just embroidered two little lines for the snout. Before we get into the details of each one of the yarns, I know some of you want to know, how did I make those amigurumi eyes? I typically use plastic safety eyes, but I wanted to do something different with these little piggies. I recently got my very own Cricut Maker 3, and I have been dreaming of all of the ways that I can use this for crochet. If you're not familiar with Cricut, it's a smart cutting machine that works with a very easy to use app so that you can design and personalize almost anything. It can cut things like leather tags for crocheted hats. You can also make stickers for your handmade business, or you can cut custom made cardstock tags for crocheted toys. What I really like about Cricut is that you don't need to have any design experience, and I tend to get super overwhelmed when there's any kind of technological machinery, but this is so easy to use. I can even use it. For my little pigs, I wanted a little cartoonish anime style for the eyes, and I have tried cutting cutting out felt by hand to make eyes that look like this, and they are never neat. I needed something super precise to be able to cut them perfectly. So for the little eyes, I used Cricut brand felt in the colors black and white. I also used Arlene's fabric glue to glue the pieces together. I also used a pair of tweezers to be able to position the eyes anywhere I wanted them to go. The first thing I did was to open the Cricut Design Space app, and then I clicked on New Project in the upper right-hand corner. Next, I looked in the menu on the left-hand side and clicked on Shapes. I chose a circle, and then in the top menu, I clicked on the size of 0.5. Next, I clicked on the plus sign in the right-hand side to duplicate the circle three more times for a total of four circles. Then I reduced the size of two of those circles to 0 0.2. Before I clicked on the Make It button, I placed the white felt onto the strong grip mat. Once the felt was secure on the mat, I clicked on Make It. 
Next, a window will pop up for you to choose which material you'll be using, and I chose on mat. I chose the 12 by 12 mat size. On the bottom right hand corner, press continue. The app will then connect to your Cricut Maker 3 and this can take a few seconds and make sure to check your Bluetooth connections if you're having any troubles. Next, click on browse all materials, search for felt and click on it. There will be a drop down pressure menu and choose more. Next, load your mat with the felt into the feeder guides on the Cricut. Press the blinking up and down arrow button on the right hand side of the machine and then press the play button to start cutting. This is when the magic happens. Once it is finished and you see the blinking arrow button, click the play button again and this will ensure that everything has been cut well. After the second cut, press the blinking up and down arrows and carefully peel up a corner of the felt to make sure that the cuts went all the way through. You're gonna repeat this process with the black felt but size the circles at 0.4 and this will create the little black centers for the eyes. And once the little amigurumi eyes were cut, I used a pair of tweezers to place the largest white circle on the bottom. Then I placed a drop of fabric glue on the back of the black felt piece. I placed it near the edge on top of the largest white felt circle. And finally, I placed a drop of fabric glue on the smallest white circle and placed it on top of the black circle and I placed it near the edge again. The glue can take anywhere from two to 24 hours to dry, so make sure to be patient about this part. I made the eyes first before I put them on my little piggies. I wanted to make sure that the eyes were made the way that I wanted them and then I put them on the little pig and I think they turned out so cute. Another idea that I had was was to actually use safety eyes, but cut out one or two felt pieces to give the eyes a lot of dimension. You could also get really creative with this part and use different shapes besides circles. You could use an oval, you could use stars, you could use hearts, you could use lots of different colored felts and create different layers. The possibilities really are endless. If you'd like to learn more about Cricut, make sure to click the link in the description box below to find out more information and to discover all of the amazing things that you you can make with a Cricut Maker 3. Thank you so much to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I started with the Himalaya Dolphin Baby Yarn because that was the one that was recommended in the pattern. I ended up buying this on Amazon, but you can get it for better prices on places like Hobbiness Yarns. Each skein is three and a half ounces and 131 yards. It's $6.14 per skein, but you can wait for it to go on sale and get a better price. Here are the pros of the Himalaya dolphin baby yarn and there's a lot to like about this yarn. The first is that it is incredibly soft. It really does feel so good in your hands. Second, there are so many colors to choose from. Make sure to look on Hobbinus yarns and you're going to see all of the different color options. It really is incredible. I think there's something like 53 different colors to choose from. Another thing that I really like is that the colors are very on trend. I like all three of my little piggies here, but I will say that the one that I made with this color is the one that I prefer as far as the colors go. But now we need to talk about the cons about this yarn. The stitches are a little difficult to see with this yarn, and that can happen when you're working with chunky chenille yarns, but this one particularly, the the stitches weren't as clear when I was working with it. I started making this pig last week when I was on a trip. So I took a little picture of what happened. I was on an airplane when I took this picture. I was very shocked that when I tried to frog this project, it did not like to be frogged. It did not like for me to rip the stitches out. It gripped itself and I would have to pull and pull. And eventually after I ripped out a few times, the chenille actually started to shed off of the strand from the yarn. That was a big problem for me because as I'm working on a new pattern, I have to rip out, I have to fix mistakes, and I was really surprised how much this yarn shed when you rip out. Another thing that I noticed was that as I was trying to weave in my ends, threading the needle was causing the yarn to shed as well. That was a big problem, so I ended up having to 
fold the yarn over and try to grab a piece from the middle so that I could actually thread my needle to weave in the ends. My suggestion if you end up using this yarn in particular is to rip back your mistakes slowly. Do it one stitch at a time. It does help and it does help to keep that shedding from happening. The next yarn I tried was the Paintbox Yarns Chenille. I've been a big fan of Paintbox Yarns for quite some time and I was really excited to get my hands on this brand. It retails for $6.75 per skein, but you can get it online for good prices under $5. It comes comes in 20 different shades. It's three and a half ounces and 131 yards. So it's exactly like the Himalaya baby yarn. There was a lot to like about this yarn. It has better stitch definition than the Himalaya dolphin baby. It also frogs very easily. If you need to rip out your stitches, it's not going to catch. It's not going to hold on to itself like the Himalaya Dolphin Baby yarn did. Also, I found that it didn't shed as much as the Himalaya Dolphin Baby, but it still did shed more than I really liked. Here's the only real con to this yarn is that it only comes in 20 different colors. For me as an Amigurumi maker, I like to see yarn brands that have lots and lots of different colors to choose from because we love using all the different colors for dolls and animals and all of the different toys that we want to make. And when you compare the pig from the Himalaya Dolphin Baby with the Paintbox Yarns Chenille, they're almost identical in size. This one is a teeny tiny little bit smaller though, which that could be due to my tension being a little bit tighter. Who knows? And finally, I tested the Premier Parfait Chunky. This is a very popular yarn for Amigurumi makers who use lots of chunky chenille yarns. And I can tell you right now, there's a good reason why. I've been a big fan of Premier yarns for quite some time. They're practically neighbors with me. I only live about 15 minutes from their headquarters. I've gotten to go over there. They're some of the nicest people you will ever meet. And the Premier Parfait Chunky yarn is Oh, mwah, chef's kiss. It's such a great yarn for crocheted toys. And here's why. Each skein is three and a half ounces and 131 yards, just like the other two yarns. The price is $4.99 full price, but Premier is always running sales. So make sure to get on their email list so you know when those are going to happen. This yarn is extremely soft. All chenille yarns really should be soft, but this one is just, oh, it feels so good in your hands. For chenille yarn, this has good stitch definition. And the great part was that as I was crocheting this little pig with it, I could see my stitches better than I could, especially with the Himalaya Dolphin Baby, and even better than the paint box yarns chenille. This yarn also frogs, it's like butter. You just pull it out, there's no issues at all. And it comes in 53 different colors. Now here are the cons. It actually will shed a little bit, but that's going to happen with chenille yarns. That's just the nature of a chenille yarn. It's going to shed a little bit, but this one shed the least by quite a bit compared to the Himalaya Dolphin Baby yarn and the Paintbox Yarns Chenille. This is the part that I thought was really interesting though. These are all three and a half ounces. They're all 131 yards. But my little pig that I made with the Premier Parfait Chunky is quite a bit smaller than the other two. I don't know if my tension was just a lot tighter or if it's maybe a tiny bit thinner yarn, but it doesn't really matter because I think that these turned out so, so cute. Oh my goodness. So drum roll. I really shouldn't do that on the table. It shakes the camera all around. Are you ready to know which one the winner is? You already know. I already really spelled it out <laughs> in the description of each one of the yarns. But in third place is the Himalaya Dolphin Baby. This is an okay yarn. Best thing going for it is that it really does come in some very gorgeous colors. I love that shade of pink, that really soft, that almost ballet pink. It's really beautiful. That is the good thing about the Himalaya Dolphin Baby. The cons are that it doesn't frog well, it sheds more, it doesn't have great stitch definition. So for that reason, it's in my third place. But I will say it's still a good yarn. It's not great, but I think it's a good yarn. In second place is the Paintbox Yarns Chenille. This yarn has a lot of really great things going for it. It's got decent stitch definition. It rips out easily. 
but it does shed a little bit more than I would like. And the other negative is that it only comes in 20 different colors. So that's why it's in my second place. But in first place is the Premier Parfait Chunky. It's easy to see why it is so popular with Amigurumi makers because it's got great stitch definition, it frogs easily, and it doesn't shed, and it also comes in so many gorgeous colors. I hope you enjoyed today's video and meeting all of my little cute piggy friends. Make sure to check the link in the description box below if you're interested in checking out Cricut for yourself. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Stay safe and happy stitching.